Talk about something that's going to be amazingly artistic. It's also fabulously sporting. And Raymond Donnelly from the uh, Donnelly Brothers Motor Group is on the line. Raymond, good morning. Good morning, Frank, to you and all your listeners. Raymond, you're doing something very interesting to mark a special anniversary and it involves Paddy Hopkirk. Tell us what you're doing. OK, Frank, all this week, uh, local artist Neil Shaw Cross. Uh, we all know Neil Shaw Cross. He's one of our famous artists. He's embarked upon painting a mini, donated by ourselves, the Donnelly Group, uh, here at our Boucher Road Honda showroom uh, in Belfast. And the reason for it is because this mini, uh, being commissioned by Neil Shaw Cross, a very special piece when it's finished, uh, will be raffled at a gala event in February, which is celebrating 50th anniversary of, of Paddy Hopkirk, uh, a Belfast native winning the Monte Carlo rally. You see, when I was a wee tot, my dad used to talk about Paddy Hopkirk, and I think he was on an ad on the TV. He advertised, well, did he advertise hairspray or something like that on the TV? Uh, no, that was Roger Clark. Uh, Paddy Hopkirk would have been Pirelli, and uh, maybe some of the some of the tire companies, but uh, I'm not sure. Frank, you're older than, 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 than we are. You wouldn't know, <laughs> you know, let me know that. I've got a feeling Paddy Hopkirk advertised something other than just tyres. You know, I, I throw that out to the audience. What did Paddy Hopkirk advertise? One thing's for sure, he knew how to drive a Mini, and he, he won at, uh, as you say, won at Monaco. He, the accolade was quite amazing, wasn't it? Well, it was. And he, I mean, he was uh, synonymous to the Mini brand. The Mini brand actually is a world-famous brand. Interestingly enough, Frank, uh, to you and your listeners, the Mini and I are the same age. Uh, came out at the start of the 60s, uh, and uh, were both both products, I think, have lasted quite long. But this is a unique uh, situation. Paddy Hopkirk uh, commemorating the 50th anniversary of his Monte Carlo rally win. Uh, Aye, Monte this, Carlo is what should be rolling off my tongue, yes. Monte Carlo rally. Anyway, just, Frank, if you don't mind, the Donnellys, as you know, were, we were a big rally and family in our days. My brother turns regularly competed in the Irish rally uh, your championship, indeed, he won it in the early 70s. With he would have competed with his, his friends like Cahill Curley and Adrian Boyd and the late Ronnie McCartney. But uh, Paddy Hopkirk's success in the 1964 Monte Carlo Rally still it would be considered as one of the most significant events in the history of world rallying, and indeed the UK automotive industry. So. Uh, we wanted to provide a platform, a unique occasion. Customers and members of the public are invited to our Honda showroom here in the Boucher Road this afternoon, tomorrow, Friday and Saturday to see Neil Shaw Cross uh, actually painting this little car, which we have donated, a Mini. It was a white Mini. I have looked at it, uh, uh, Frank, and really it's multi-colours at this stage. From a dealer, and it's quite unique, and it's going to be raffled in this gala dinner What's the gala dinner for? It's for the Integrated Education Fund for Northern Ireland. It's known as SKIDS. It's a project which are giving, giving young people the chance to gain vocational skills in motor mechanics, uh, our industry across the province. It's a great, great so this idea. Is the first time, this is the first time anything like this has been tried, uh, and as particularly in one of our showrooms. I have to say, from a dealer perspective, uh, the paintwork would have started out as quite suspect and it's very finishing up quite a unique piece. And what, what, so, what, what exactly will the look of the motor be whenever he's finished? Well, it's based on the Mini, the iconic Mini, uh, in his original state. And, I mean, it's for any of those Mini enthusiasts in the, in the 60s or 70s, uh, there were different themes for Minis. There was Mary Quant design in the 60s, and there was uh, different age milestones that were marked. But... What it looked like really is, is uh, it's, an, it's, a, it's a painting like Neil Shaw Cross is famous for only done, uh, painted onto the vehicle itself. It's all sorts of wonderful colours and there's themes throughout. But how much uh, of the mini will be covered with Shaw Cross's work? Well, all, it's, of it, it's, all of it's, it. It's completely, yeah, Frank, the arches, the, the wings, the doors, the roof. I mean, I've looked at it and it really is quite an abstract painting. It's going to be a, really a masterpiece. I have to say, a local artist with a, an iconic mini, uh, uh, you know, and people can come along and have a look at this. It'll be a special piece. And you'll and see, if you go at the right time, you'll see Neil Shawcross actually working on it. He's here as we speak. He'll be here to the afternoon. Uh, he'll be, he's been here for the last day, uh, setting up his uh, studio in our workshop, and people are more than welcome to come along 
to have a look at this. Raymond, it sounds it's like a photograph. W- and, and, of course, find out a bit more. It sounds like a wonderful idea. It's for a very good cause as well. It's also a brilliant carrot to get people into a showroom. Fair play for your PR people. That's a, a darn good a darn good idea. But there's a very good uh, uh, reason behind doing it, double-barrelled. One is to mark the 50th anniversary of a man. If we ever do get a museum to the great sporting people of here, Paddy Hopkirk's memorabilia will be in that museum and also uh, helping with the initiative there with Integrated Education. Raymond, people should drop by and they'll see an artist at work. They'll also be able to maybe consider making a bid or indeed buying a ticket in the hope of winning that many. And you're, you're open when? When can they see it? Well, we're open from 9 o'clock through till 7.30 Monday. Well, of course, tonight. Tomorrow we'll be here until uh, until 6. Saturday morning it'll be half 8 uh, until half past 2. OK. Uh, good speaking to you, Raymond. Lovely idea. Thanks for letting us know about it. Thank you.